Hey everybody, it's Ryan. Welcome back to How Farms Work. We are about to head out to one of my cornfields and start planting corn. So this field was beans last year, so we're no tilling into the bean stubble with corn. The weather isn't looking too good to get a lot done, so today it dried up just enough for us to be able to get something in the ground. So we're gonna start with a field of mine and then we're gonna come back and work here closer to the buildings. So we just loaded the planter up with seed and fertilizer. We are gonna head out to my field right now and see how well the, the ground looks. It actually looks drier over at that field than it does here. So hopefully by the time we're done planting that over there, which shouldn't take too terribly long, maybe an hour, two or three hours, I guess, um, at most by the time we get over there, it, I think it should really help it dry out some more here, especially since the wind is blowing today. But let's follow Travis out to the field and uh, get started planting corn 2024. Travis headed out to the field to get started. I went out to my place to feed cows and I had a calf out there that I needed to tag and switched to the other lot, so I did that. But in the meantime, he had a breakdown. So he asked me to run over to the farm and grab one of these brushes. So we're heading back to the field right now to get this fixed. He said it shouldn't take much, but it's keeping him from planting anything. Just right in the middle of the strip, just cruising right along. Just wasn't picking him up or what? This isn't normal. What the heck is that? It's part of the brush. It's where I'm losing all my right hair. It comes around and it's catching. See? <laughs> so. Dad and I made a special trip to go get one of these last, or two of these last year because uh, we were informed that these uh, brushes like to come apart. Melted on there? I don't think so. Well, you look at the new one. And it's slotted. Mm -hmm. So you know, obviously, just so it doesn't give. Just one of them things where you're trying to gradually ratchet up how aggressive you're going to be before you really start wrenching on it. Slide on. Start acting up all at once, or? Well, it was it was it was done as soon as it happened. Yeah. I mean. It's planting awesome. I mean, 99 plus percent singulation. You wonder if all that thing works. I mean, it's pretty cool. And when I tore it apart, all the seeds were, doop, doop, you could count them perfect how many. Hmm. Is there one in each one or? No, it was you know, five, five, five. Oh, really? It was, the spacing was really nice. There you go. I told you it was that simple. Ah. I told her to tell. Yeah, I had my mouth open. Yeah. We have one more of these, right? Clean it out. Yeah. Well, normally when I have the vacuum and everything running yet, when all the other rows are still primed, what I'll do is I can actually activate this one row and then prime this one row. But it seems like I shut the vacuum off, I'll have to go through and reprime it.
variable rate seed application is the epitome of, I don't know how much seed we're gonna need, but I know how much we're gonna use. So at least we did manage to get something planted. We got two fields done before I came over here and am walking around checking the cows for more calves. I've had two today and uh, he's working on the third field right now. So uh, they are calling for rain in an hour now. They kept pushing it up. So I don't think he'll get done with planting corn at the main farm, but at least we got some of our corn in because the forecast doesn't really look like it's gonna give us too many chances to get our crops in. So we're trying to push while we can. So for those of you who may have been wondering by this point of the video, what those stripes were in the field, why it looks like we went out and worked down part of the field. Uh, Dad actually went out this morning and he worked down 
the areas between the old contours to level them out as well as some of the lower spots that did wash so that way it's just leveled them off a little bit but uh i'll keep you guys posted as we move forward with corn planting hopefully we can get them in relatively early we'd like to get them done within the next two weeks here optimally but uh we'll just have to wait and see so um right now i'm sitting at 14 out or 15 out of 48 cows that have calved so uh, i'm thinking real soon here they're gonna just start ramping up how many i'm getting in a day but i guess we'll find out so anyway that's pretty much it for this video guys thanks for watching be sure to check out all of our other videos be sure to like comment and subscribe and be sure to follow us on facebook instagram tiktok and snapchat all off arms work and with that i'll see you next time